welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new, Scorpio. Oh wait, y'all can't say it. Scorpio, we're doing your reading. All right, so I did not start off with tea leaves for Sagittarius, but I will not make that same mistake with you guys. So let's go ahead and get you guys some tea leaves out first for your general reading. And then at the end, I will be doing a three-card love spread for you guys for the last week of April 2022. Also, stay tuned to the end. I have some interesting news about some things that are going on with me if you care to listen. Don't worry. They can benefit you, too. So there's something in it for you, too. So just stay tuned to the end. All right. Let's go ahead and get you some tea leaves. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. All right, Scorpio. We got four leaf clover, good luck or good fortune. What I like to hear. We got casket. Someone could be going out of your life or there could be an end to a situation. And then we got dagger, fears, worries, or tense situation. Then we have egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. And then we have jug, lighthearted, carefree time at the bottom of the deck. All right, let me see if I can um, light some sage here because uh, I do not. I almost got burnt the fuck up on the roof the other day with lighting some sage. Because motherfuckers want to be sending their ill intentions towards me, but guess what? I ain't gonna stop. All right, we got some sage going here. All right, yeah, my hair is all puffy and getting all over the place, but you know, my um, bro. All right, spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? Or Sagittarius, Scorpio? I just did Sagittarius reading. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? What is coming out for the last week for Scorpio? What are we dealing with? What kind of energy do we have? It looks like some good luck. But it also looks like there could be something else happening too. A tense situation. Maybe somebody's leaving your life. This could be somebody you love very much. All right, we got the four swords in reverse. We got the star coming out in the upright. We got the high priestess. What else? We got the world. We got the page of swords. And we got the Three of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Empress. All right. It feels good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just started thinking that. Anyway, so Scorpio, what, do I, what am I seeing here? There's some type of work. Maybe somebody's looking for work here. I do see you successfully gaining employment if you are looking for work. There's something in your intuition that you're worrying about or that you're thinking about. Um, some type of wish fulfillment. You know that it's going to happen. So there's something that you really want. And intuitively, you know you're going to get it. There's some type of situation that has been delayed or stopped or postponed that is um, coming back around. 
And it could have to do with work. I'm seeing that. Also, what you don't see coming is something to do with maybe your mother or you, um, maybe a mother, a mother type, something like that. Um, or you just basically growing up. That's what I'm seeing here. And Spirit is saying success is assured if you work hard, basically. I do see you uh, worried about somebody leaving your life, though. And this could be somebody that you care about, like a spouse, a sibling, um, a significant other. All right, let's go ahead and get some clarification here for you. Spirit said, enjoy the time that you have with somebody right now. And this person is going to come back to you. I see that. There is a cycle that somebody needs to close out, though. But they will close it out successfully. And you know that this person is coming back to you. All right, Spirit. Show me. Let's do this for swords. We got the four of wands. So, yeah, somebody could be leaving home. Either you're leaving home or somebody that you love is leaving home. We got the Knight of Swords. I don't feel like this person has told you yet. Or somebody could be going home. Or, yeah, because somebody has to go home or somebody has to deal with their stability there there's going to be some type of break all right show me this world card we got the ten of cups yeah this could be somebody that you really love somebody that makes you completely happy we got the four of cups here you're not bored with this person they're your fourth piece to the puzzle they're the full set You've manifested this person. I do feel like some sadness is coming in, though, about their departure. We got the Four of Pentacles here. Spirit is saying, don't hold back how you feel from this person and enjoy every moment you have left with them. But don't be despaired because they are coming back. Show me this page of swords. I know we don't got the ocean behind me today, but it's okay. We got the three of pentacles coming out again. Yeah, I'm seeing here that somebody's uh, searching for employment or a job. You're going to be celebrated because... One second. Of course, everybody wants to start writing their fucking ATV as soon as I start doing my readings. Whatever. All right, we got the three of cups here. You're going to be celebrating because you are going to have an offer coming in. Somebody's mother might not be happy about it, though. We got the three of wands in reverse. Like, bro, what the fuck, really? They're not even supposed to have ATVs over here. I keep saying this every time. In my last couple of readings, it was... It was well, I only did one so far, but still, like, as soon as I get out of here, it's always some bullshit. Anyway, sorry about that. Show me this three of pentacles. We got the empress again. The empress right here, the empress right here. I'm getting like somebody's mother or a mother figure or <sighs> firstly with the first message I'm getting that somebody is growing up glowing up and they're finding employment successful gainful employment but somebody's mother might not be wanting them to do this like they're not happy about this situation happening with the four of cups and the six of swords in reverse And somebody intuitively knows it's because of the King of Pentacles in reverse. 
Damn, there's some drama going on, Scorpio. I swear. When does it ever stop? Okay, so somebody feels here that somebody, some masculine or a father figure is not successful. That's why this mother figure doesn't want you to be successful, I'm getting. Somebody feels like there's some type of jealousy playing a role in their life right now. Could be to do with other family members. Show me this high priestess. The high priestess came up again, too. We got the lovers. Yeah. We got the five of uh, pentacles here. I'm getting that song, It's Too Late to Apologize. Somebody could be feeling abandoned here. What is this um, star? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody knows that they're about to get some type of job to where they're going to be able to stack up money. Um, yeah, everything's going to work out for you. But there's going to be some type of love situation that's going to be on the pause for you, Scorpio. Somebody could be going away. I'm getting like maybe somebody's being drafted or somebody is having to go handle some business somewhere else. And uh, maybe this person is leaving and you don't feel like they, they're going to be coming back. But you have good luck here. There is going to be a separation period. But intuitively, you know this person is going to be back. I really want to clarify some more on this Empress because I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, or somebody else. We got the Tower. Yeah, this is somebody's parent. Somebody who's depended on somebody as a foundation. This person could be trying to leave or... Like, their energy is just fucking, I don't know. There could be some type of situation that's happening with work or somebody's stability. But it's going to work out for the best. It's going to be, the sun is here. Alright, let's go ahead and move into your love spread. So just keep an eye on if someone's leaving your life, they'll be back. If there's something going on with somebody that you love, it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. And hopefully all these damn people with these ATVs will quit driving by. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and look into your love spread for the last week of April. Spirit, show me Scorpio's love spread. Okay, all the cards. Oh, my God. Come on now. Okay, so we got, let me go ahead and get up out of these because it's getting too dark for me to see. We got the world in reverse. A situation is not ending. That's what I was just telling you before. We got the five of cups or five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to be coming back to you. I'm also getting like not only is the person that you want to be coming back to you, but somebody else is probably going to be coming back to you. And then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's um, doing something to relieve or release some type of burden. We got the Nine of Cups. This person is your wish fulfillment. And then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse.
the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. So Scorpio, you really think that something is gonna be over for you and someone, but I definitely see, I'm not, I wasn't even supposed to pull six cards, but Spirit wanted more to come out, so I ended up doing the whole full spread of six cards. And basically it's saying that you, you feel like this person is going to be leaving your life, but they're not leaving your life forever. They will be coming back, but you feel like it's going to be over once they leave. But there's all indications here that this person is coming back for sure. All right, give me some clarity here, Spirit. What else? Yeah, this person is going home and coming back home, for sure. There's some type of strong union here. You might have some doubts or worries about it, but it's for nothing. Yeah, this person is coming back, for sure. All right, let me get a couple more. We got the eight of pen or six of pentacles. Somebody's going to settle a score I'm getting. Going to balance something out, going to make something right. We got the judgment card here. I'm feeling like if this person doesn't take this and do this right now, it's going to keep coming back up. And we got the Empress again and the Ace of Cups, bro. Wow. And the High Priestess in reverse. So don't be counterintuitive with your worries. Scorpio, because this situation is going to work out for the best. But there definitely is a cycle that needs to be balanced out in this situation. Which is why there's a separation happening. But there's definitely love here. This person looks at you like you're their ultimate person, their ultimate partner. Their divine feminine. Some of these people could be looking at you like the mother of their child. And some of you guys might be pregnant. Because I've seen the Empress come out three times now. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get some angel romances for you guys and see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's what she said. <laughs> what else? We got stay optimistic about your love by positive thinking and faith will bring romance. <laughs> Bro, I cannot make this shit up. What did I say when this card popped out? That's what she said. Somebody is saying this. This could be a mother figure, or a sibling, somebody you look at like a mother, a grandmother, or whatever, saying that this love is not, there's not enough to keep this love going but it's like spirit saying stay optimistic because this person is coming back to you what else religious factors your love life is influenced by religion religious upbringing and spiritual path yeah i definitely feel like somebody is trying to tell you something against this relationship and possibly against your better judgment too Calling in your soul, soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and vis, vis, visualization will bring you guys together. That's what I was feeling here. This could be like a soulmate connection. And it says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So I feel like there is a big naysayer in this relationship that's like, okay, you know, whatever. This person's leaving or whatever. Maybe it's best for you to move on. 
but spirit is saying be optimistic about this situation because this person you know is somebody that you're deeply connected with and it's more than some people think it is yeah somebody's from the on the outside looking in and they're telling you to hold back your love from this situation Mm, mm, mm. I'm also getting like somebody could be saying you're too young for something too. That's for some of you guys. Or you know, Scorpio, you could be saying this to one of your kids, siblings, or whatever. But I feel like this conversation is being had somewhere. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I will see you on the next one. I do want to tell you guys about my Patreon channel. I will be doing my, um, I'll leave it in the description box down below. It's called Potions and Lotions, where I will be showing you herbal remedies, herbal supplements, <laughs> my potions, um, how to heal yourself naturally, down in the description box below. Also, I will be doing mixers and elixirs in there too, so... We'll be having different um, drinks and supplements you can mix together, too, for natural healing. I hope you guys will join me in watching those and support me in that endeavor, as I will be supporting you. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next one.